welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Memory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preseason 2014 NFL Draft prospect rankings video. We're taking a look at the receiver position. And now that includes wide receivers as well as tight ends. Some guys that you want to keep an eye on this upcoming college football season as possible NFL draft prospects. So we're going to break this video down into seniors, juniors, as well as draft eligible guys. So let's start this video off by taking a look at the top senior wide receiver prospects. Cody Hoffman out of BYU is 6'3", 205, has excellent hands and shows the toughness to go across the middle now. The only knock on him that I have that I want to see him work on this year is that he has to utilize his hands better to get off bump press. If he can do that, this guy can definitely be one of the first receivers taken in next year's draft. Jordan Matthews enters the season as my number two rated senior wide receiver, shows great body control and situational explosiveness. Once this guy gets into the open field, forget about it, he's gone. Now, his route running is inconsistent, it's not bad, it's not where someone needs to really work on it, it's just inconsistent from down in, down out. This guy can definitely improve on that this year. He has the hands, he knows where his hands are, one of the big playmakers for that Vanderbilt offense leading that team's turnaround. So look for him to improve this season as he rounds out his game and becomes one of the top receiving prospects in the country. I'm a big fan of Ryan Grant's game out of two lanes, 6'1", 195 pounds. He's a very smooth route runner. He's in and out of his breaks very quickly, natural hands, and shows that good burst and acceleration after the catch. I want him to get a little bit stronger so he can take the pounding across the middle of the field. But when this guy, again, just like Jordan Matthews, when he gets the football in his hands, this is a very dangerous player. If they get better quarterback play down at two lane, he could put up some huge numbers this season. T.J. Jones out of Notre Dame has been a productive player throughout the course of his career, 5'11", 195 pounds. One thing I like about him very much is that he has very strong hands. He will go up and, con and fight for a contested pass and come down with it. Now, he's not as explosive, but he definitely has the hands that you want at the receiver position. Looks to be an ideal number two at the next level, but definitely has the skill set that you covet out that position. Devin Street out of Pitt is another guy that's looking to put it all together for a senior campaign, staying healthy, staying 100%. Another one of these guys that I feel as though need to spend more time in a weight room. He does have the explosiveness, and he can catch very well. If you're looking to compare him to a guy from last year's class, look at Terrence Williams out of Baylor. Similar guy, except Devin Street is a guy that can also play as a split. Now, here's how the rest of my top 15 shakes out for the preseason wide receiver rankings. Josh Huff out of Oregon. This is a guy that's very talented, but has to become more consistent in catching the football. Mike Davis shows the explosiveness. I want to see him get tougher going across the middle of the field. Campanero is a guy I think is going to have a huge year for Wake Forest. Darryl Surgeon out of Louisiana is also one of the best punt returners and kickoff returners in the country. He should have a big senior campaign as well as Nick Harwell. You remember him from Miami of Ohio, the prolific wide receiver. He's transferring to Kansas. Should help bolster that Jayhawks passing game. Sammy Watkins out of Clemson, 6'1", 205, is my number one rated junior wide receiving prospect. This guy epitomizes the word game breaker and has underrated all around game. You can tell he played a lot of football growing up. Now he has those nagging injuries. That's something you see with guys that has blazing speed like Watkins and also has to develop more of his route running capability. He has to become better at that. A lot of times you only see him run two type of routes. You see a hitch, you'll see a streak, you'll see that crosser or bubble screen. He has to become more developed in that aspect, but this is definitely one of the best playmakers in the country guy that plays with a lot of passion. I love football players that play with passion. You can tell it means something to him. He's very explosive and has solid hands. Now, his lapses in concentration could cause him to drop some catchable balls. Also, he gets sloppy in his route running. That's something that he's going to have to improve on, focus and route running. But this guy is definitely one of the more talented playmakers on that Trojan football team. Brandon Coleman out of Rutgers definitely has that size that you want. 6'6", 220 pounds. You can't coach that. You get out of bed with that. Very good after the catch. Was also plagued by bad quarterback play during his career at Rutgers. Let's hope he gets better QB play this season. But he has that Plexico Burris-like ability. You know he's going to be a threat in the red zone. Keep an eye on him as I think he may put up monster numbers this season. 
big fan of Odell Beckham out of LSU. There's a lot to like about his game. Reminds me a lot of Victor Cruz that plays for the New York Giants. The reason why he has those lapses in concentration where he'll drop an easy pass or drop a couple of passes in a row, this is a guy that looks to make things happen. So he's always thinking of the next move. If he can focus and hone in on his talent, the sky's the limit for the 5'11", 187-pound junior. Dante Moncrief out of Ole Miss burst onto the scene last year and put up some amazing numbers. The one thing I like about his game is that it's well-rounded. He can run every route on the route tree. Definitely is not afraid to go across the middle. And with his size, he's a guy that has dangerous run after the catch ability. I'm interested to see what he can do to build on his outstanding sophomore campaign this year as a junior. Here are some of the other junior wide receiving prospects that I want you to keep an eye on. Malcolm Mitchell out of Georgia played on both sides of the ball for the Bulldogs in his short career. Allen Robinson out of Penn State is a guy that runs silky smooth routes. And when you look at Paul Richardson, you hope he packed on some weight. But this guy does possess that big play potential. Richard Sincere out of Sam Houston State is a guy you definitely want to keep an eye on. I covered this guy for the last four seasons for the Bearcats, and this is one of the best playmakers in all of FCS. They use him as a Wildcat quarterback. They also use him as a running back. Any type of way they get the ball in his hands, he's definitely going to put it in the end zone. It's very explosive. Jeff Janis out of Saginaw Valley State is one of the more prolific pass catchers at the Division II level. This guy catches everything thrown his way. I know that's hyperbole, but it's so true when you're talking about Janice. Keep an eye on him moving up the draft boards if he puts together another campaign in 2013 as he did in 2012. Speaking of prolific wide receivers at the FCS level, you look at Eric Laura out of Eastern Illinois. This is a guy, since he stepped foot on campus in 2010, has been an instant playmaker for the Panthers. I'm looking forward to seeing him throughout the course of this process of the season and also in the All-Star Games. I'm pretty sure he's going to get invited to every last one of them. Guy I've seen a lot of out here in New Jersey is Neil Sterling out of Monmouth, 6'3", 230 pounds, Definitely can go up in high point of football. Also, one of these guys like Brandon Coleman for Rutgers played by bad QB play and does have that dangerous run after the catch ability. He's one of the more polished receivers I've seen at the FCS level. Interesting to see how well he does this season as a senior. Gerald Ford out of Valdosta State has some of the best hands in the country regardless of the vision. This is a guy that routinely lays out for passes, not afraid to go across the middle, 6'3", 220-pound kid out of New Orleans. Definitely is looking to put up big numbers this year as a senior and looking to get the Blazers back to the championship game. Now, here is how my preseason overall wide receiver prospect rankings shake out the top 10. Sammy Watkins is the best wide receiver going into the season, in my opinion. Next, you have Marquise Lee out of USC. Cody Hoffman, very solid all-around game out of BYU. But you look down, you see guys like Ryan Grant out of Tulane looking to put up big numbers. Dante Minecraft out of Ole Miss. Devon Street rounds out my top 10. Very solid group of wide receivers right here. And like I said before, earlier in the video, you can't go wrong with any one of these guys in your offense.